flag flyers, it's springtime again. We're really happy to show you that it's time to change the flag. Sometimes people wait, you know how flag flyers are, they wait for the spring to come in. Today's like the first real nice weather up on Lake Michigan. We're gonna put a new flag up. You're gonna see the difference, but this flag is a year and nine months old. All right, so when you're changing your flag, you just wanna take a good close look and see if everything's working right. Like right now, I'm just gonna take our halyard down. I'm gonna take a good look at it and just see that everything's working right. So I bring the old flag down. There's a couple of key critical points and they're all gonna be right here. They're gonna be where the staff hooks are, where we tied it, and where the top staff hook is. And you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Year and nine months later, heavy winters, lots of wind. It's not broken yet and maybe there's something we could do about that or maybe we should change that halyard. We don't want that to break and have to go up there. That's a big job and that costs a little bit of extra money. Here's the next thing. This is where the flag is going back and forth and that's why we see this wear. We can see that the snap hook is in pretty good uh, shape. Everything's working and maybe that's been partly because we use these vinyl snap covers. Let's take a look at uh, are not. Okay, the outer housing of the uh, duct tape we used is breaking down but holding. Nothing's really that sharp for the flag. You know, we're in a high wind zone and you're gonna see that grommets get stretched. That's moving back and forth on the flag like that and it's sawing into the snap hook. You can see that there's only so much metal left. We're of the opinion that when you have a rotating truck and the right size flag, big flag in this case, five by eight on a 20 foot pole, that rotating truck lets that flag fly downwind. In this case, year and nine months. It's actually starting to pay for those upgrades or has already paid the $50 or so for those upgrades when you're only flying one flag in almost two years. After Samantha came out, we showed her what was going on with the halyard starting to get some wear and tear. She said, let's change it out. We decided that this PHA was maybe a little weak for this big 5x8 US flag. The halyard, we're going to use a PH10 white. It's going to look really nice with a new flag. We just think that this PH8 is a little light for this flagpole. And with a 5x8 US flag, it's really stretched it out. It's really taken a beating a year, nine months later. So. Just think about your halyard if you don't use wire center. In like two years or so, you're probably gonna need to change it out. Okay, we're changing the halyard. Just pull it up and through, no problem. But basically you want both ends to be down to the ground. If they're down at the ground, you're gonna have plenty of room here when you stretch it up and uh, cinch it onto your uh, cleat. So go ahead and put an extra five feet. This is 40 feet for a 20 foot pole just right. Now we're using the vinyl covers that we already had because we want to watch them and we can. I mean we're local and we're right here so let's just go ahead and raise the flag. What do you say? I'm really happy with the job. I'm loving this flagpole because the flag flyer Samantha she loves it. She says the people in the neighborhood love it so they're flying a bigger flag, but they got such a, a long amount of flyability out of it from the rotating truck that it appears that the extra upgrades are really paying for themselves. That's what we want to see. That's why we're out here doing what we're doing so we can show you that when you think ahead and watch your flagpole and learn how to really know your lengths and your sizes and what you're after, you can get the effect you want at the best possible value. This flagpole's providing that experience, and it took us a year and nine months to prove it. All we've done is change the flag once now, and we went ahead and changed the halyard too. 